you know that Finder National Space Station isn't floating? It's falling? Yes, it's true. Structure the size of a football field races across the sky and in the first heartbeat of this story. The International Space Station isn't floating. It's falling, constantly, at nearly 28,000 kilometers per hour. The ISS is in a state of perpetual freefall, but because of its high orbital speed, it keeps missing the planet beneath it. This delicate balance between velocity and gravity known as orbital mechanics is. What holds it in place? Orbiting at an average altitude of 400 kilometers, the station still brushes against thin traces of Earth's atmosphere, causing gradual drag. To counter this, visiting spacecraft like Progress Resupply vehicles perform reboosts, nudging the ISS back into stable orbit. Its massive solar rays, generating up to 120 kilowatts of power, support life support systems that maintain pressure, temperature, and oxygen as it circles Earth about 16 times a day. Perhaps the strangest truth of all is that astronauts inside feel weightless, not because there's no gravity, but because they're falling at the same rate. As the station itself a controlled plunge around our planet that has continued unbroken since 1998, making the ISS humanity's longest running home beyond Earth.